Ready? I love that sound effect though. Bedoing. Whoa. Okay, hey guys, welcome to part four of my El Dorado playthrough. And this part is the search for El Dorado part one, where we make it to the island after escaping Cortez's ship and being captured and held in the bilge. And uh, now we make it to the island and try and work our way through the jungle and get to the fabled ancient land of El Dorado. And so we floated loose upon the ocean, lost, miserable, starving, desperate. We must have been out there a whole afternoon before finally landing the boat upon a shore. Oh, how we rejoiced! Sharing the small boat with an animal was no fun, I can tell you. Still, at least I had Altivo to talk to. Ha! Ha! Uh, very funny. Are you going to carry on with this story? Oh, you mean I have your permission? Just get on with it. So, there we were, washed up on the beach of a distant land. Safety, just as I promised. You know, this place looks kind of familiar. Oh no. Did you drink salt water? Look, over there. That's the first marker on the map. The map? We can find El Dorado now. You still have the map? There's the bird rock. This is great. We're going to be rich. Miguel, you're a sad, sad man. Guess he must have upset the locals. A waiter! Check, please. We're leaving. That was random. Are you crazy? We can find El Dorado, the city of gold! Hmm, you do have a point. Oh, okay, we just convinced him. <laughs> See what happens when you don't leave a tip. and magically disappears into his bag. Can I help you? So, let's see what happens if we just look at this. One day, I'll own a million boats like That's this. That's the dream. I want a million rowboats that don't have any oars. That would be fantastic. Don't worry, Altivo. Okay, is this going to be the joke? Or is this actually going to work? Let's have a look. Okay, we still got the sock. That's kind of cool how it carries over. Follow me. I know the way. The trail that we blaze. Hmm. I'm so not impressed. Uh, I mean, this way. Well, that wasn't as good as in the film. Okay, I guess we better go over to this bird rock. And there's another one. Okay, let's interact with this. That vine up there could be useful. Use a sword. Take that! And that! Sorry, Tulio. I guess the excitement's getting... Okay, it's not that. We can try the sock. No. Okay, try the map. To compare, maybe? Let's... No? Okay, he's not, he's not even got anything to say about it. Okay, Take so you can that. use that. I guess we'll just... Aha! This way! To El Dorado! What about Altivo? Look at his massive nostrils. We can't leave him here. It's a jungle, Miguel, not a trip through the park. But he'll be... lonely. <laughs> no, we'll come back for him later. When we've found the gold. When we've found the gold. Sorry, Altivo. 
Winnie. Well, that's different from the film. If you've seen it, you know that he just fucking goes along with them everywhere, basically. Ooh. Oh, there's a... What is that? Too risky, Miguel. You would have to get pretty close to use that sword. And it looks like Bebo, I think, because in the film... There's like a... He's on a branch, and I think we, we cut the branch as we're going through the jungle. Silly. And that manages to help uh, save him by proxy. Oh, look! That poor creature! That's life in the jungle! Is there nothing we can do? Short of banning on the snake? No. I have a heart, Tulio. Okay, let's follow this thing along, see where that leads. Wow! Look at that! Yes, Miguel, it's a shadow. Did you ever notice you have one too? Very funny, Tulio. Just look, marker number two. Rattling through these markers at a very good, impressive rate. The raven? Where? On the ground. Miguel, I do believe you're right. The cliff must be casting the shadow. Guess we need to go up there then. First things first. We've got the little creature to save. It's lucky that erosion hasn't done anything to it. To turn it into like a... Just a big semicircle. Ooh, there's a stick down there. I wonder if we can touch that. That's a long way up. I wonder if that's a screenshot from the film, because that looks like it rather than just a a rendered background like this one. It looks too it looks better than the rest of it. Hey, do you hear that? Makes funny sounds when the wind goes through it. Okay, maybe we do that on the snake. Maybe that'll make the snake run away. No, we should hurry up and help that poor little creature first. Okay, then let's try this bit of wood. See if it's scared away by a flute for some reason. The, the reed. I know. I'll hypnotize it with my flute. Oh, hypnotize it. Okay, I thought you were scared away with the, the high it's pitch. It's never too late to learn. It's terrible! Okay, that worked. It worked! I must be a natural! Don't quit your day job, Miguel. Squeal! I think that means... Uh, thank you. So, what's your name, then? What was that? Oh, good grief! Just call him Bebo. Yeah, there you go. Why Bebo? Sounds like Bebo. Bebo? But what if it's not a him? Bebo. With a name like Bebo, what does it matter? Okay, so we saved Bebo from the snake. In your version, it sounds like I did nothing. Let me tell what happened next. Okay, so now we're Tulio. Can we go along this path now? Is that... No, okay, that's just like a little area. Can we do anything with this? With Bebo. Are you still with us, Bebo? Okay, let's go back through here. There's a way to get that vine. Because we need the vine, but I'm just trying to think how we do it. Okay, does Bebo follow us? Can we use him? Can you, like, scramble up it? Uh... That would be crazy. Let's try again. Miguel, my old friend, could... I'll give it a go. Well, this is so stupid. It's like Scooby-Doo, but instead of them having Scooby snacks, they were just like, oh, will you just do that? And he's like, okay. But then when he's him, you can't make him do shit. Do you know what I mean? Like, he won't do it when you play as him. You have to be his Tulio and then kind of rag on him and make him your bitch, and then he does it. No, I need something to cut it with. Oh, we need... Yeah, okay, we need the sword. Which is lucky because he has it, so that's all right. This should do it. A nice piece of rope. Okay, can we tie the vine to him? Bebo, 
Can you hold Oh, the tie the vine to it and then it can drop it down. Although it was like two meters long, so I don't know how that's going to help us get up a big chasm. Bend the tree. Are you doing this? It's all part of my plan. Very well. We get Miguel to be our bitch and hold the thing down. All right, I'm holding the tree. Now what? Bebo and Vine. It's like Ben 10 when they had Wild Vine and they had, what's he called? Okay, Bebo, Fire. just one last time. I'm sure this is going to work. Firestorm, some shit and like when that. when you get man. up there, push one end of the vine down for us, okay? And then they put them together and he made Swamp Fire. So now we've got Bebo and Vine and we have Bevine. That's fucking good. You can trademark that. You're welcome, Eldorado. Ready? I love that sound effect, though. Bedoin! Whoa! It wasn't Firestorm. What the fuck was he called? Fire... Heat Blast! Heat Blast! That was it. Now what? Oh, is that the, is that the vine there? Ah, come on, Miguel, up we go. Like, I wasn't, like, a fan of Ben 10, like, I didn't really watch it, but we had, like, the toys. And, uh, the toys were pretty awesome. Nice work, Bebo. Yeah, not like you deserve it. How's your head, Bebo? So, speaking of, like, cartoons like that, I've also got Jackie Chan Adventures for the PlayStation 2. So, I know my PlayStation 2's conked out, apparently, just today. But if I can get the uh, PlayStation to work on, can we go back to Miguel? Look at that frog, it's just, oh it's Blink, so that's cool, actually I quite like that. Um, so yeah, if I can get, I don't, I don't know if PlayStation 2 games work on PS3 or if it's just select ones or what. So hopefully I can get. Uh, that work on that, so um, that might be one that I play at some point as well for the channel. That won't work. And I've never really played... Actually, no, I got to the end, I remember. Because I was talking to my friend about it in, like, high school. And uh, I was stuck on the last thing, but I remember... You have, like, a sword, and he has, like, a, a pose where he like, kind of goes forward and, like... That won't work. Puts the sword down. And there's, like, a big dragon in, like, a big, huge throne. And I was like, what the fuck are you going to do? Because I was always just, like, stuck with it. Um, and apparently what you're meant to do is you're meant to wait for the dragon. Because I'd just be going up and, like, hitting the dragon's legs. It wouldn't do, like, any damage. But what you're meant to do is... What, what was he called? I can't remember now. It's been a while since I watched that. I remember there's, like, there's, like Ratso and Ver Vermont, maybe, I think, is the bad guy who had, like, green suit and bleached hair. Can we go back out here? Because I feel like, like, there might be some more useful stuff out here. Because we're kind of doing... Oh, there you go. A flashing twig nah leave it we want there we go oh we might need miguel to cut it or not we can just pull it off a walking stick just what i will need for when i get old i told you he's got amazing upper body strength he can do the monkey bars and he can just yank twigs branches out of tw trees And that, I'm guessing you use that as like a... Let's see. What's he going to do? Just jam it in there. Oh, like a pivot and like, and then just kind of prise them along. So, if I push the lever, the rocks will... But Miguel, you're so much stronger than me. Could you help me, please? Oh, let me at it. Oh, yeah, Miguel's got the swag. He's going up. He's just like, yeah, bring it on, fucking boulders. You're going down. Oh, this is an awkward uh, technique he's going for. Loud rumbling. What's that sound? More loud rumbling. Uh-oh. Run! That sounded quite like Kenneth Branagh there, that run. That was quite impressive. That was a good line he recorded there. Yeah, yeah, very funny. Tell the story properly, will you? Oh, 
Is he going? All right, can we hop across this? Can we just walk at it? Okay, so just like press the interact button and he'll jump. Ah, this rings a bell. Now, what did that Moses guy do? That was a nice party trick. Where's my stick? I love that green water. It's not really tropical, it's more just like diseased. Although, I, do, I guess you do get tropical diseases, so it kind of makes sense. Well, this is awkward. There can be miracles in my foot. All right, we'll go for it. Okay, simple enough. Okay, are they meant to be moving? They, they moved at first and then they just stopped. Okay, here we go. We want to go this way. Actually, can we do anything with that frog? Apparently not, never mind. Okay, let's go over to you. No, no, we... Oh, okay, good. So he's going over to that one that was like in the water. I was like, fuck. Okay, that was pretty fucking simple. I remember that being a lot harder when I was little as well. Well, that was easy. Are you coming, Miguel? <laughs> he just... <laughs> I just like, can you imagine like a whole kind of shot of that and it's just Miguel standing right at the fucking back just watching him do it oh I, i'm not even joking i'm pretty sure you have to do it again as bebo like that's kind of ringing a bell that's so ridiculous and again go on miguel so yeah, i'm interested to see who your guys's favorite was if you watched it because in this miguel isn't as like likable as he is in the in the film at least in my opinion so we have to take the other route. Route. I've been playing way too much American games. Way too much American games. <sighs> Get my English right eventually. Um, Tudio? Yes? How did you get past this last bit? I jumped. All the way from here? Yes. Can't you do it? Something must have changed. You couldn't jump that distance. All right, Miguel. I'll find a way to help you. Okay, and then he'll go and push that boulder in, I'm guessing. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Like, the voice acting at first was kind of... I don't know if it's got used to it or it has actually got better, but it seems like way more... Let's see if this doesn't do the trick. Convincing? There you are, big guy. A nice little bridge for you. A nice little bridge for a nice big guy. I wait for this fish to come up again, then we'll go... There we go. And voila. And do we do Bebo? Let's see. Oh, ground. Thank goodness. Bebo, come on, boy. Oh, no, he just does it himself. Why we have to watch him do the whole thing? Why? Why can't they do what normal games do and just skip to the next area and then Beebo's just magically teleported? No one would have said anything, no one would have cared. Yeah, because I remember, I must remember Beebo jumping over. I just assumed that we must control him because, yeah, I don't know. Maybe his common sense dictates that that would be what happened, but I guess not. Wow! Way to go, Beebo! That looks so easy. Well, we're over the river. Where do we go next? Let's find the skull. Uh-oh. Search for El Dorado Part 2. Julia, look! It's the skull! The 
next marker on the map. We're still on the road to El Dorado. All we need to do is find the back door out of here. And then on to the weeping woman. Piece of cake. Wait! You don't know what might be in there. One day, Miguel, you'll listen to that little voice. can't find a way to open this door. There's a lever over there. I wonder what it does. Uh-oh. Wrong lever. Miguel, come back here. What happened to our partnership? Okay, so here we go. We are at the skull. Which, okay, okay, we have some, it's like a kind of, oh, can you look through the window? That's pretty cool. Okay, so there's some sort of mystery or something. Or like a, it's like a maze and we have to work it out. So, as you know, this is not my strong suit, but this, um, this is like a kid's game, so we should be fine. The symbols above the lever seem to match those above the doors. Mm -hmm. Well, you'd expect so. Alrighty then, let's go through here. Okay. That's quite impressive how fluid that is compared to some of the other bits. I thought it like... Take like 10 minutes to load. Oh my god, that was like the best line that I've done yet. Okay, what good is this? Who's going around in a bloody circle? Well, what's over here? Is there anything over here? It's just wall. Okay. Okay, where am I going over there? The lever's over here. Oh, wait, 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 wait. So if I come out and then press the thing again, is that going to do something? I don't know, like, what, but... So maybe we're, maybe we're meant to go all the way through and pull this again, and then it'll open a different thing through here. Like that, maybe that's it. That was an unexpected uh, musical sting. Maybe this is the way out of here. Up I go. And now we're going to be Miguel to try and get through it. How the fuck did he end up there? What? Where am I? What happened to Tulio? And where's Bebo? I still love his run. I can't get over it. I love it. Alrighty then. Through here. It's going to be like the exact same, but just backwards. And reunited once more. And that was a smooth entry into that lift. The skull lift. The skull -ivator. Where have you been? I've been waiting here forever. What kept you? It's been like five minutes, dude. If that. Oh, shit. Turn around. Hmm. This skull, like that skull on like the spine reminds me of um the Go Away Ghost Ship episode of Scooby-Doo, Where Are You? Where uh, they have to know the password. Why? Okay. Why? And um, there's like a, a skull like that with a spine uh, in, a, in a chest. So now do I s change to him? I do. Over to you. And then I can pull that. 
or not. Okay, so, but we couldn't get on that one before, could we? Over to you. All right, so let's see if you can go on the skull this time. And if you can't, then we'll try going on as Miguel. I mean, as two ago. Okay, which we can't, so I guess let's try that. Over to you. To me, to you. Okay, Tulio can't get on it either. Because you would think that maybe one of them could. Because we need... S okay, there you go. That was weird. Over to you. Unless you just had to go at it at like the exact right angle, which is kind of awkward, but... Fucking hell. Turn around. Oh my god. If you could use the uh, the thumbstick, it would be so much easier. And I'm guessing that this one is going to control that, so I'll get on this skull now before I change over. Turn around, turn around, there you go. And Miguel to Tulio. Over to you. And then you go forward, you go left around here. If you can, there you go, can. Okay, so then I'm guessing that this one Over to you. will pick up the skull. Maybe both of them. Let's see. I'm going to guess both of them. What a legend. And then Tulio. Over to you. And then obviously back to Miguel. Over to you. I like how they had like a little triumphant sound as if that was hard. I mean, getting onto that one skull was hard to be fair, but other than that. Okay, so let's. Whoa, he just appeared. There's so many random glitches just. To... Like him going into the air was fucking crazy. When he's like climbing over the ship thing. Previously, on. Nuke's place. Strut, whatever you want to call it. Looks pretty great. What? What? That made no sense. Like, that was suddenly, like, see-through. That was insane. Oh, my God. That was crazy. I see Bebo's managed to find us again. And we tried our best to get rid of him. So, can we look out here? Oh, we're going to be in the mouth, won't we? Oh, the nose, okay. That's pretty cool, and kind of weird. Thought they'd include it, but whatever. So I'm guessing we need to have something to find and put in that hole. Wow, look, a waterfall. From here, the rock looks like a face crying. It's the weeping woman from the map, Tulio. Did I ever doubt you? You know, we could fit through that eye, if only the water wasn't running. Okay, I vaguely remember this. I think that waterfall's covering up a ladder, so it'll be how to turn that off. Okay, there's like another area over here. Okay, this is Bebo territory. Bebo, I want you to go into that tunnel. Is that yes? Okay, yes. Okay, now we can control him. So let's go around the back here. Oh yeah, I should... I was trying to push him, but I think I just need to press the interact thing. And, oh no, what do we do here? Oh my god, look at that, he does a moonwalk, that's cool. He's kind of like a weird rat crossed with a woodlouse, it's kind of disgusting. And that's pretty simple, and then we should just be able to push him out. And again, go on. 
There we go. You found a statue! Well done, Bebo! Okay, now we're with Tulio for some reason. Pick it up then. Oh, for God's sake. You better be right about this gold, Miguel. Alright, good. Picked up put a magic invisible satchel. And we'll head on back. We'll put this statue in the... Oh my god. Oh, I thought that was like a weird shadow or something. It's just Miguel in silhouette, which was creepy as hell. Uh, there we go. I would not know that there was a room there if uh, we didn't come from that way. It didn't look like there'd be, it'd lead to anywhere, do you know what I mean? Looks like the shape of a woman's been pressed into the rock. Mm. Like a mold. Looks like a woman's been pressed into this wall. Here we go. The statue should fit into the mold. Wunderbar. The water, Miguel! It stopped running! The eye must be our way forward. Go on, get yourself in, lad. Oh, okay. Julia, look! It's the dragon's head! After all this intrepid adventuring, we're nearly there. Altivo? How on earth did you beat us up here? And I like how they've made Altivo like a kind of joke thing that he's there. Because that makes sense, rather than having to watch him jump over the fucking turtles as well, like Bebo did. there you go we've made it to El Dorado so that'll be it for part four that seems like a good bookend so I join me next time where we'll be in El Dorado and we'll kind of see what happens now so thanks for watching stay awesome and I'll see you guys next time for part five thanks a lot guys